In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called transforming the graph of a function by shrinking or stretching. We have two graphs that we're going to be transforming. And for the first graph, we're given f of x and we're asked to graph one half f of x. And since the one half is on the outside and f of x is the y values, we can work with our two endpoints here, the first being negative two, negative two, and the second being two negative four. And for one half f of x, we're gonna take the output, the f of x or the y values here, and we're gonna take half of those y values. So starting with this point on the left, when I input negative two, instead of getting the output of negative two, I'm gonna get half of that, and half of negative two is negative one. So I'll have the point negative two negative one, and then the same for the point on the right. When I put a two into the function, I'm gonna take half of the output, so half of negative four is negative two, so this point is two, negative two. So our new graph can be drawn by just connecting those two dots. We can see that the one half has shrunk the y values, and then for the second graph, we notice that it again has a one half, but this time it is inside the function g of x that's given. So here again, we can work with these three points. We have negative four, two, negative two, negative two, and zero, zero. But this time we're taking one half of the x values. And so for the original function, I can see that putting in a negative four has an output of two. Now putting in a negative eight would have an output of two because half of negative eight would be the negative four. So here we have negative eight, two. For the point on the bottom, I can see that when I put in negative two, the result is negative two. But since I'm going to be taking half of it, then negative four, when I take half of it, would give me the same output. So this would be negative four, negative two. And then our point zero, zero, Taking half of zero would have no effect, so that will also be zero, zero. So here we can see that the values for x would be twice as big so that we could take half before putting it into the function. 